Hey guys, um, so we are at day 18 on our Hatching Chick series. Um, so today we're going to talk about um, uh, the humidity and what lockdown is and stuff like that. Uh, so for starters, um, I'm just going to go over it quick and then I'm going to open up the incubator. I'm going to pull the turner out with the eggs. I'm going to try to do a quick candling. I'll try to bring you guys along for a little bit of that. I probably won't do much talking for that. Uh, so. This is an idea what I'm going to be doing. So the lockdown period is the last three days of incubation, uh, where humidity is going to be critical at this point. Um, so throughout this whole first 18 days, it's been like a 50 to 60 percent humidity basis. Uh, at this point, we want to keep it around like 60 to 75, if possible. So uh, we want to do that. And then once uh, we get the first uh, crack in an egg, it's called pipping. And once we get the first sign of pipping, uh, I like to, from what I've been reading, to start like a 48 hour clock. And whatever happens in 48 hours for hatching, uh, that's when you can re finally remove the chicks. And then if you want to add more water and see if anybody else hatches. But uh, you really don't want to open up your incubator at all at this point uh, once the pipping starts because the membrane can dry on them and they'll just suffocate and die. So you don't want to do that. Once your chickens have hatched, uh, they can survive up to three days without any food or water because they survive off of what they've uh, absorbed from the egg yolk and the egg. So that's how the companies are able to ship the chicks. Alright guys, so I just filled up all the reservoirs in this incubator because I want max humidity for the next three days. All right guys, so I just pulled all these eggs out and my wife noticed that this already has a pip started, which is not a good thing, probably. It's already day 18, it's kind of weird. And it looks like this one as well. Uh, so I'm gonna try getting these into the incubator quick uh, so they're not sitting out. And I think we can actually hear them starting to chirp already. Alright guys, I'm trying to candle this for you, but I don't know if we're going to have a good view. It's not looking like it. Yeah. He's moving, but a little difficult to see. But uh, pretty much every single egg that I've checked so far, it looks viable. Yeah, he's moving around. You can see his back or whatever that is moving. But every single one. I have a silhouette of his head or his butt, one or the other. So I was just candling this one. I don't know if this one's just behind in development or if this is a dead embryo now. The air sac looks huge. Alright guys, so we got 21 in here. And I pulled out four that don't look to developed at all. Or not fertilized. So we'll see what happens with those two that already started pipping. Maybe we'll have chicks tomorrow morning. <laughs> 